Welcome back to Tour Validated. I am joined by the infamous Wade. And g'day, we g'day. are here today looking at some putters that have been very hyped up as of late. We've seen some significant strokes gain putting out of the guys using them. Yep. We're taking a look at the- Mez Max. Mez Max. In broomstick, Mez Max in short yep. stick, whatever you want to call it. And then their Link, which is more of their blade yeah. version of putter. Um, so like I, I had the opportunity to go up to Oregon recently on a Bandon trip yep. and met up with the guys at Lab Putters, got to go through their facility, see how they build things, see how they do things. Honestly, it's an amazing operation, amazing gr uh, group of people over there as well, and they're doing incredible things. They've got some incredible things that are coming down the hopper as well. Um, and I just thought it would be great for us. You know, this is a product that we do sell on Fairway Jockey. It's been doing great since we launched it um, due to, you know, Glover doing very well on tour with it. Uh, and so for me, you know, I thought it would be great to get you out here because you've been tinkering a lot recently with putters. I have. Uh, you've been looking for something. You've been going for from the, you're playing a, uh, a what are they called again? The arm lock, arm wrist lock. lock. You're yeah, playing arm like lock, that. wrist lock. You were playing with the counterbalance for a little while. I did do that. Uh, you've got a ping that you've got in your bag. Yep. That's a short, it's like about a 34 or 35 length. Correct. So I thought it'd be good to get you out here so you can test out a broomstick, test out a regular uh, length, and then test out that link. See if the hype is real for you. Yeah. See if it's something that you might consider putting in your bag. I know for me it's been, um, I've seen it, but I've never utilized this product and I've seen so much of the engineering and the stories behind it. And then you see it translate to the tour and it, like most of people, I think you're gonna be curious to see if it can save you a putt here, a putt there, those add up. So awesome. um, I'm excited to try it. I've never tried it, so it's gonna be pretty raw and we're gonna see how it goes. And at the end of this, we'll see if there's any of this that works for me. Perfect. So let's get into it before we do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. Let's go. So here we've got the Link, which is more of their blade style. Mm -hmm. It's one of their newest putters they've released. Honestly, it's a good looking putter. I like the look of it. I love the feel of it. Um, it has a, it's got the graphite stability shaft in it as well mm -hmm. from Acra. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it, on at address, it looks great to me. I would, yeah. uh, you know, so looking forward to seeing how you feel about it, how the roll is on the ball. Right. So I'm gonna use the line on the ball. Yep. It's a great way to see how the ball is rolling yep. end over end. Is it wobbling? Kind of understanding the quality of putt you hit. This looks very much like a bullseye that I started out with. There it's got go. some bullseye vibes with a lot more tech. So let's go. We're gonna roll a couple. Like you said, you know, you set it up and it is very clean at address. So let's get into hitting some putts. Money. Never a doubt. Money. Money. Never a doubt with a bunch of pace. <laughs> that rolled end over end though, which is, is awesome. Yep. Uh, great to see that right how, out of the gates. How did and it feel off the face? Super stable. Yeah. Honestly, like I'm used to um, seeing a little bit more twisting throughout the stroke and most putters are going to do that. The story with these is, uh, what do they put it in a revealer? The revealer, yep. And they stroke it and the face doesn't have any pull. So you either have a toe hang putter or a face balance putter. These have nothing. So wherever they go, they go. Correct. It is built so it's not going to twist for you. Yeah, I mean that The felt, path is going to stay the same. Which for me allows you to just focus on speed a lot more and not worry about your stroke. Okay. Once again though, line end over end. Yeah, I mean that's interesting. The acoustics are great. You know, they've definitely thought about all the things that are important in a putter. Yep. It's just a unique look in comparison to what you would see in most putters. You know, it's, it's not your standard putter. You can tell it's more of an engineering feat than it is. Like we're gonna design the best looking putter that's clean, your Newport too. See, that felt great. I think I'm lining up just a tick right. Yep. But I mean, it's rolling end over end each time. So that's a yeah, testament to quality here. That looks like a bad read, right? Because yep. not, not, you know, it's just with it going end over end, going exactly where, you, where, you, where you're aligning it. Yep. So now we've got the Mez Max, okay. which is what you're seeing on tour. Right. So the Mez Max head, you've got Glover playing it. You've got my fellow Aussie, Adam Scott, mm -hmm. playing it. They're playing it in the broomstick version, obviously, but it's a great head, super duper stable. Hits that that look and feel that you're seeing a lot of people play right now as well, that that battered right. kind of you know mallet look. So this is a little bit more unique than what I've seen in that link there. This yep. shaft is set behind that face a little bit more. And I will say a very underrated 
part of a putter is the way it soles, and both so far have soled really nicely. So a lot of attention to detail. So you kind of can let this thing sit. Yep. And let's see if I've learned my read a little bit more. Maybe a little firmer. Look how yeah. good they're rolling. Great roll. It's a great, it's so tight. And you were seeing that as well when you were watching Glover play. They were, they were so zoomed in on his ball. Right. And that deviation of that line just didn't go anywhere. Makes you have to uh, really pay attention to where you're lining this thing up. Right. Great so there roll. you go. I Great mean, that roll. is... That's perfect. That's perfect. I think I got the read finally. It took five, six putts, but now we know what this read is, so let's see. I mean, I'm impressed. I use the line on the ball, so I really do like to see it roll in and yep. over end. If I'm honest, throughout a round, not a ton of putts are rolling like that, yep. that tight. You know, it'll be a little wobbly, um, but that's just unreal how tight that roll is. And I'm just gripping it normal. I'm letting this thing sit, nice light grip, and then going. So that was a miss hit. Yep. It still rolled end over end, but I felt like a little- Pulley? Pulley almost, and that's been my tendency with okay your traditional putter, which is why arm lock might have creeped in a little bit because yep. I have a little bit more of a smooth stroke with that arm lock, so. In, when you did pull that though, did it feel as though that club head was doing everything in its power to stay square? Yeah, your ball rolled end over end. Yep. So It's and, crazy. And that's what they're designed to do. If you've got pull effect, and it's, this it's, it's literally you're coming through to pull and it's saying no. Right. It's giving you the neo and going no. Right, so this, I have friends messing with this, playing with this, and they've talked about how strokes can get out to in, in to yeah. out, where they're like, I should probably stop and not hit this putt, and they go through with it, and they're still making putts. So yep. that's essentially just making it easier to make putts with average strokes. Exactly. So this here, the next one, I'm very interested in. Yep. This is this is the one we're both very interested in. It's a broomstick version. So same same head. This is the the Mez Max yeah. as well. Um, yeah. It's the broomstick version. So the one that's hot hot topic right now. It Longer is. putters are hot topics right now. But what it did to save Glover's career, it helped uh, Adam Scott win a major. He wasn't using this at the time, but he did go to a broomstick to win that major. Yep. Uh, and we're seeing a lot of these selling on Fairway Jockey. I'm not gonna lie. People are really interested in what they're gonna do, how right. they're gonna perform. And I'm really excited to see what it's gonna do for you. Cause I know that you're looking at it like, what is this? Yeah, I'm not over the moon about trying a broomstick because I am honestly a little worried that if I do like this putter, um, my dad is not going to want to <laughs> chat with me much longer because he is very much a purist and to him these putters are not golf clubs. Sure. But I already told him if, if it works, you it's gotta, going in the bag. If I you're going to see more putts, more putts and get lower scores, you just got to do what's right. Got to do what's right. Yep. So here we go. Sorry, Dad. All right. Well. Let's see if you've learned the read. I mean, yeah, you'd think. You'd think I know the read by now. They are a but, little fuzzy. They are. In conversations with the guys at lab, it was, the ball is not going to deviate. Right. If you pick the wrong line, then you need to work on your green reading. Right. That, that's what this putter will help you do. I think ultimately that's what everyone wants. At the end of the day, if you make or miss, you just want to hit your line. Correct. Right? That's it. Yep. I, I don't really know much about gripping these things. I'm just going to kind of do what looks natural. Yep. Um, it's the hang, hang the arm. Yep. Palm towards the hole. Okay. Rock the shoulders. Okay. End over end again. I haven't quite learned the read. Like apparently, is it in the hole? It feels like it should break a mile left and it it's should. Not. But they are fuzzy, so maybe it's a lot straighter than what you think. So maybe go maybe go right edge. That wasn't as bad feeling as I thought it would be. It, honestly, it looked like you've been doing it a while. Ah, you know, I don't. <laughs> I don't love to hear that, but here we The stroke itself felt smooth. Not great, you know, I'm not doing great here making any putts for that matter because. But that's why you're here, that's right? Why I guess that's why I'm here, but I, I can't get this read right. That first one dripped in and I've hit it too firm a couple of times. I think it's inside right yep. with a little pace. There it is, great roll. Okay, that so great. I didn't expect to really make any with this. Nope. Three good rolls, Yep. green reading was the issue, but I kind of saw that throughout the the yep. three of them, I had one really bad miss, I felt like with the Mez, it caught it a little twingy, but here yep. kind of frees you up. Um, so I'm interested to see kind of how this transitions down the line. Yep, How I speed agree. control look and, and look at some of the bigger things, because speed is so important. I will say though, through these three, definitely worth some consideration. I've hit a lot of putts and all of them rolled end over end. Yep, 
which is exciting. It's very exciting. So what we've what we've witnessed in six or nine rolls is it's green reading right now. Right. With this putter. Yep. So let's go. Yep. We'll cool. back it up. And I absolutely murdered that yeah. thing. Push that. That's the first one that didn't have end over end. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see how this line starts to deviate, or if it does. For distance? Um, yeah, for distance, as yeah. I start to have a longer stroke. And over end. I mean, the roll is good, yep. speed control maybe a little tougher, and it might be because I am a little bit more accustomed to that arm lock now, which is that longer, smoother stroke. stroke. Yep. This, I feel like, I don't know what it is, I feel a little, little twingy. Ooh, that was a pure roll. That was a great roll. Mez Max again. Mez. Okay, so this one I like the look of more than the length, just preference-wise. Okay. Well, you but you like how it lays flat. Yes. Yep. It sits really clean. The lie angle feels comfortable. I mean, that roll is so good. That's in. Great roll. Great read. Great roll. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that felt pretty good. It feels great when you can kind of just set it. Look at your target. Go. Little bippity boppity. Yeah, little bippity boppity boop. Summer in Arizona. Yep. But not bad. I hate to see that though. I like to see putts get to the hole and I'm, I'm definitely a little too tentative. I'd like to be more comfortable on the three, four footers coming back so that I know sure. I can be a little bit more aggressive. Well, going. with these, it's, it's point and shoot. So three footers is, is very easy with these. Turn. I mean, yeah, good roll. This, this is where I'm like super interested to see what happens. Because if you make two of these, it's going in the bag. <laughs> two, two out of three goes in the bag. <laughs> All right, get that. Got to do what? Glover let his arm hang a little, yep. and then it's gonna rock. Oh boy, that rolled so good. So good. I Just, pounded it though. Yeah, but that is is. That to me is, I don't know the, the swing plane yet because it's the first time I've hit a broomstick putter. It's but a, the roll was perfect. It's just more mass. You yeah. got more going at it. Yep. It's very stable though. Okay, so we're gonna set it. I feel like it's an infomercial. Set, right. it, set it and forget set it. Set it and forget it. Oh, Oof. man. Not as uh, foreign as I expected, I will say that. I feel like we should invite your dad to play and just get his reaction when you pull that out on the first Maybe we fit my range. dad for one of these. <laughs> he wouldn't do it. Too stubborn. What a roll. Those are rolling That's a thing, like all really end nicely. End. All into it. Of the, th of the three, yep. this rolled the best. There's like it no did. question. It did. And you got it past the hole like you wanted. Right. So best speed control, you'd say, best lines, best contact. And this is obviously very basic level analysis of, of what we're looking at here. Yep. Um, I'll go back. You want to go back one more? Let's yep. go back one more. We got another tee here. Let's do it. This is now... We still in focus? 40... What are we at? 36-ish? This, I think, is what? 36 feet? We're going to run it? Yeah, do it. Let's now do it. this feels really light. Yep. Turn. That's in the hole. Oh! <laughs> I cut that real bad, too. I did not strike that solid. And it almost goes in. That's, that's interesting. I didn't feel like I lost distance control either. No. Go. It's a great roll. I was pushed. Pushed. But. So for me, through these three distances we've hit, I would confidently say, of the three, Link is not for me. Link is not for you, fair enough. Not to say that it's not solid, it just doesn't feel right to me. Yep, well that's- It feels like there's too much deviation for me on uh, that stroke. Maybe it's just the way my stroke looks with it. It's also the beauty of having different putter head styles. Yeah. That's why there's so many. Not one size fits all with them. Like that felt pretty good. That's a great roll. Still maybe a touch pushy. Yep. That's good distance control. 
it is surprisingly easy to stroke. Yep. It just wants to go. Just wants to go. It wants to, it wants to come back and it wants to go through. Pulled it a little bit. Yep. Okay. Great putts though, better distance. It looks like you've been doing it for a while. It, it doesn't look like this is the first time you've held a broomstick putter. I thought it was gonna be a lot more like, Yep. you know, it doesn't feel that way. Felt more like mum was asking you to sweep the patio or something like that. I'm good at sweeping, I'm great at yard work, so that could potentially be <laughs> why this feels comfortable. Look at that, look at that line. Get in the hole. Oh, that's the best roll you've put on that one so far. I caramba. This feels steady. This is where I start to see, I think, the hype. And by the way, what have we seen as far as putters go? I don't think I've seen a putter under 36 inches win on tour in a minute. No, it's been a while. I think the last short putter that won was when Shoffler when uh, when Sh uh, Scheffler switched. Sorry, not Shoffler. Yeah. Scheffler switched to the to the uh, Taylor Made putter. Yeah, that was the last one. But it's either been. That is unbelievable how it's pure roll that is. Oh, it's been counterbalance or broomstick. Over, out of the last seven tournaments, I think, it's been, I think it's been six to one. Yeah, it's something along like, or, or five to two, something along those lines. I know the last four tournaments were two broomstick. You gotta put this in the bag, mate. Hoy. Like as your friend, as someone that, uh, like, I I'm happy if you don't put it in your bag because I prefer to beat you on the course. Yeah. But you're going to hold more putts. And honestly, looking at how that line was rolling and then looking at what you did between the three of these. Now, I haven't, uh, you know, I think I think what you need to do is take it to the lab, no pun intended. Yeah. And kind of put it up against your arm lock. Yeah. And to see what you're seeing. But to me, like, you it looked comfortable apart from your dad chirping in the back of your head. Yeah, he's there right he now, I can hear him. But it looked comfortable, and those three putts looked great. I, honestly, every area we were in where we were putting from, right. that one to me, the line was just razor sharp. Yeah. And it just, you just got to it, set up, and then you just switched, and it was just a rock. Yeah. And there was no, no issue whatsoever. And I think, especially at this length, like we're not even considering an anchor here. Nope. Like, that's not, I mean, you can get up here where it gets yep. a little spooky. Yep. But when you're talking that kind of difference, you're not even close to the anchoring conversation. Not at all. Which is huge. I can't have that. I can't have cheating next to my name. Nope. But a lot more um, intriguing than I expected, to be yep. honest. I knew there was hype around it, but I didn't expect to roll it as well as I did. These greens, again, are maybe a little bit summer-ish. Yep. So we're getting a little bops, but it rolled pure end over end, and we saw exactly what um, I think lab would want us to see. Yeah, I think what might be really cool is for you, mate, to kind of take that away, play with that, play with maybe this Mez Max as well, just yeah. because, go, you know, you, you, you kind of got to go between the two, it's the same head, but yeah. take it, take them away with you, play with them, play with the arm lock, see which one works out, and then we can do a reveal of a what's in the bag with you and which, which putty you kind of went to. Yeah, I'm starting to do too many what's in the bags, I probably need to start committing. Yep. Um, but yeah, I guess not, next what's in the bag, we're gonna figure out which one of these putters goes in. It's yep. gonna be one of these two, or the gamer's gonna stay. Yep, 100%. So, cool, that was it. fun, that was interesting. It was, that was, that was I'm, all, that was I'm intrigued. I hope you guys are at home. The hype is real, there's no doubt about it. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Turn on those bell notifications so that you can be up to date if DJ switches to a broomstick lap right. putter and becomes an only child. Right, and if you do want to try one, they are available at fairwayjockey.com, so don't forget to join there, build the one that you want, whether it's broomstick or short, um, and be like DJ. Surprise yourself.